Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to be studying different problem in indices which is an aspect of mathematics. Now let me take you down the memory lane. We understand that if I have a variable that has a power, right? Or this Y here is called the power or you call it the exponent or you call it the index why the variable itself is called the base right now we want to use this principle to analyze this question here now what you need to understand is that I have X both x and y both at the numerator and at the denominator so i need to bring everything all together now if my x is coming up or whenever a variable is coming up from the denominator from the bottom here coming up the power we have a sign notation to it to show that it has left its normal position to another position like from the numerator from the denominator to where the numerator so if my x raised power 12 is coming up it will become x raised power what minus 12. if my y raised power 13 is coming up it will become y raised power minus 13. similarly if my y raised to the power of 7 minus 7 is coming down it will become y raised power 7 the minus will disappear and if my s to the power of 15 is coming down it will become x raised power what negative 15 it will have a negative sign so show it has changed position that change position right now let's start i want to take my values my variable x and y up so i'll be having this the x has come up that is why i'm assigning a negative to the power which is 12. similarly on y also if the y is coming up then the 13 we have a negative sign allocated to it so I have done this now the next thing is in indices there is a law recall now before that all this divided by what divided by 30 all over what 30 now in indices there is a law that states that recall if I have two variables that have the same base two variable they are the same but their powers are different when they are multiplying each other you are going to add their power right a is for m multiply they have the same base so you add what the power so from here I'll be having 20 to the power of what? That is x to the power of what? 15 plus then we have minus 12. So I'm adding the power. I'll just take one of the variable. If they are more than, even when they are more than 3 or more than 4, I'll just pick one from it. Then multiply by y to the power of what minus seven then we have plus bracket minus 13 everything all over what 30 now if i rewrite this again i'll be having 20 x to the power of what 15 minus because plus times minus is minus then we have what 12 then i have my y minus 7 plus times minus will give you minus and we have what 13 all divided by what 30 now if i move forward my 20 here multiply by x to the power of 15 minus 12 is what 3 then we have y 
minus 7 minus 13 is what? Minus 20. All divided by what? 3, 0, that is 30. Now, 10 can go in 20, 2 times. 10 can go in 30, 3 times. So I'll be having 2 x 3 then we have y minus 20 all over 3 that's what we have because what does it mean here is 3 now I want everything to be positive so if I bring my y to the power of minus 20 to come down the negative will disappear that's the law so this will now give me 2 x 3 all over what 3 y 20 so that will be my answer so if this video have been helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching example 2 we are to simplify this now what you do is this you have root signs here, right? Now you need to take the root sign into this form. How will you do that? Now, there's a rule. Recall. Recall. If I have the root of a variable, let's say, let's call it V. Let's use V for instance that has a power of A and we have B here. Whatever is up will remain up. Whatever is in this sign here will be under it. That is the law. So I will apply it to what I have here. So we're having x to the power of 4 over 7. Now I'll write this out, which is x. What is up remains up. What is inside here comes down here. Multiply by x. What is up here remains up. What is under inside here comes down. And we have my y squared. All over we have x. What is up remains up. What is here is here. Right? And this, when you have a um, the fifth the root of x8 y5 is the same thing by writing the root of x8 multiplied by the fifth root of y5 right I write this as this so which will now give me x to the power of 8 what is here will be down here Multiply by y to the power of 5, what is here will be done here. So I'll write this here. This will give me x, 8 over 5, y, 5 over 5. Now, there's another law that says that when you have anything like this, you multiply what is here by what is inside here. So when you say 1 over 8 times 3, then they are saying 3 all over 8, right? Because 1 over 8 multiplied by 3, 3 can be written as 3 over 1. So 1 times 3 is 3, 8 times 1 is 8. So we have in x, right? 3 all over 8 is what we have it. Now, we are going to call it like terms. You bring all the x together and you bring all the y together. So if I bring all the x together, we have in x, right, 4 over 7 multiplied by x, 
3 over 5 multiplied by x 3 over 7 multiplied by x now when this one is coming up to be minus 3 over 8 multiplied by x when the next one is coming up give you minus 8 over 5 multiplied by x when this is coming up we give you minus 3 all over 8 then multiply by this y that we have here y to the power of 2 which is this then um, when this y is coming to be multiplied by y this power minus 5 over 5 because when they are coming up they have negative to their power now recall recall if I have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n to give me a m minus n now we're moving forward from here I'll take one of the x one of the variable here I'll have my x right we have 4 over 7 plus 3 over 5 plus 3 over 7 this will be minus we have minus plus plus times 1 is minus minus 3 over 8 minus 8 over 5 minus 3 over 8 then we have my y here that will be 2 then 5 over 5 is 1 so we make 2 minus 1 are we good? now from here we we'll write my x let me take this up we we'll write my x right and I look for the LCM now the LCM of everything here is everything we have in the numerator Abby. so we have seven you only take you're allowed to take one figure when they are repeated just take only one since we have two seven you take one seven we have one two five you take one of the five and we have eight we take one of the eight so that is the LCM now as it is this way, 7 in 7 is remaining 5 and what? 8. So 5 times 8 is 40. Then 40 times 4 will give us 160. So we have 160. The same thing, 5 in 5 is remaining 7 times 8. Right? So 7 times 8 times 3 will give us 168. So plus 168 plus 7 in 7 is remaining 5 and 8 so 5 times 8 is 40 40 times 3 is 120 so plus 120 then the next one minus 8 in 8 remaining 7 and 5 7 times 5 is what 35 that 5 times 3 is what 105 then the next one minus 5 in 5 remaining 7 and 8 7 times 8 multiplied by what um, 8 and that will give us what minus 4 for 8 now the next one 8 in 8 remaining 7 and 5 7 times 5 and 5 and 5 times 3 give us minus 1 to 5 so everything will give us this now we move forward now I'll have my X so when you add all this thing here we're having minus 210 minus 210 all over I don't want to multiply this I also want to leave it this way 7 we have 5 and we have 8 right then don't forget here we have my y still standing so 2 minus 1 is what 1 so that is that now from here multiply by what my y because y is power 1 is y now if you look at this now 5 in here 1 in 210 will give me 42 are we good now 7 in here 1 in 42 will give me 6 so we're left with what x 6 over 8 times y don't forget we have a negative sign there now 2 can go in and 2 can go in 6 3 can go in 8, 4. So we left with what? X 
minus 3 all over 4 times y. Now, if the s minus 3 over 4 is coming under the y, the negative disappears. So we now have y all over what? x 3 over 4. So this will be my answer. Or you say your y all over, you have x to the power, and you put your what? Your 4 in here. So this is what we have. Is that taken? Now, another example is this. We are told to simplify this. Now, first of all, what is common here? We have 3 and 2. So we we'll take everything to a number in base 2. What I mean is, I'll be having this like this. So, if you look at this now, I've taken 4 to a number in base 2. So instead of writing 4, I write 3 to the power 2. So I put the n plus 3 in the bracket. Now, if I expand this bracket, I'm going to be having this. So it will be 2 to the power 2 times n will be 2n. 2 to the power of what? 2n. 2 times 3 is what? 6 plus what? Plus 6. Right? Minus 2 to the power of what? 2n. Is that okay? Now what we do here is this. We recall. Recall. Let me just put it here. Oh, here is better. Recall. When you have a m minus n, it will give us what? A m all over what? A n. That's the law. When you have this, is that the key? And also, when you have then when you have a m plus n, give us what? A m times what? A n. That is the law. Therefore, therefore, my two two n minus two, which is this guy here, will give me two two n all over what? Two two. I will have there. Now, the next one is 3n minus 2. So we have 3n minus 2. It's like saying 3 um, 3n divided by what? 3, 2. And that will give me 3n over what? 3, 2. Right? Now also, we have 2n plus 6. We have 2, 2n plus 6. It's going to give us 2, 2n times 2 raised to the power what? 6. So I'm going to put all those values here. So let's start. I have 2, 2, n. I write 2, 2, n. I write my 2, 2, n. Minus, minus. This minus. So this will give me 3 times 2, 2, n. So I have 3 times. So I'm going to put the 3 here. Right? Times, open the bracket. This will be writing, uh, 2, 2, n. I'll go and check what 2, 2, n is, which is what we have here. And that will be what? 2, 2, n over 2, 2. So we have 2 to the power of what? 2, n. All over what? 2 to the power of what? 2. That's what we have here. That's for that guy. Put it in the bigger bracket. Now, if you move forward again, we have 3, n. I have 3, n. So I write this, the 3n outside here, minus, look at this, 3n minus 2, right, so we have 2, I'll put the 2, open the bracket, so what do you have here, I have 3n is power minus 2, 
and 3x power minus 2. So I'm writing 3x power minus 2. I write 3n over 3 squared. So I put it here 3n all over what? 3 squared. I'll close the bracket here. I'll close the bigger bracket. Right? All over everything here. Divided by. So I'm writing this guy. 3n to the power of 4. I'm going to write 3n all over what? 3 to the power of 4. Into bracket. So I'm writing this. 2n plus 6. I'm going to write 2n times 3 power 6. So you give me 2, 2n times 2 to the power of what? 6 minus 2 to n. Because that is what we have here, 2 to n. So, right? So from here, I'll close the bracket. Now, I can still break this further by having this. Let's see. Um, I can have 2, 2 n minus this is 3 I can bring this 3 in and take this guy out so if I take this guy out I'll be having 2 2 n because multiplication is associative then the 3 will come inside back all over 2 raised power 2 is 4 is that taken? so open another bracket again I have 3 n minus I'll take this 2 inside and bring this 3n out. I have 3n, open bracket, I will have 2, all over what? 3 square is what? 3 times 3 and that is 9. I'll close the bracket, I'll close the routine. So, divided by, now we have, um, if you look at this now, there is a silent one outside of it. I can, write that. I can write it this way by putting this in bracket and putting a 1 outside. So I can bring the 3n outside and align the 1 going inside. So and 3 is power 4 is 81. Is that again? Now into brackets 2 to the power of what? Of 2n times what? 3 is power 6 is what? 64 minus 2 to the power of what 2n so we have it now if you look at this now what is common i have 2n i have 2n here if i bring 2n out from here this will be 2 2n i'm bringing it out that will call factorization what will remain silent one will be here minus we will be left with us with 3 all over 4 here so if i bring what is common here 3 3 n if i bring 3 3 3 power n out what will I left close to this 3 raised power n? 1 minus what I have close to here we have 2 all over 9 that is what we call factorization because if you multiply 3 raised power n times 1 to give you 3 raised power n multiply 3 raised power n times this will give you this or vice versa so everything all over we have 3 to the power of what n into bracket 1 over 81 so what is common here 2 to the power of what 2n into bracket what what is left here 64 minus what is left if you move 2 raised power n here remain 1 so if you multiply 2 raised power n 2 raised power 2n times 64 give you 2 raised power 2n times 64 2 raised power 2n times 1 give you 2 raised power 2n right now from here we move forward now this 2 raised power 2n we equate 2 raised power 2n 3 raised power n we equate 3 raised power n now we will now be left with what 1 minus 3 over 4 bracket 1 minus 2 over 9 all over what 1 over 81 right bracket 61 minus 1 is what to give us 63 so in the long run we will not have this we will not have this let's move this forward we will now have this 1 minus 3 over 4 if you look for the LCM here if you look for the LCM I have my LCM 
the SM of 3 over 4, look at this is a silent one here, is 4. So 1 in 4 is 4. Or better still, you can use your calculator if you want to, but let me just use this. If I use my calculator here, 1 minus 3 over 4, look at what it will give me. We have 1 minus 3 divided by 4. That will give me 1 over 4. You can see that? So I can easily write my 1 over 4 here. I can easily write it, let me put it here. I can easily write my 1 over 4 here. Close the bracket. So 1 minus 2 over 9 is what to give us. So we have 1 minus 2 divided by 9. That gives me 7 over 9. So put it into the bracket. 7 over 9. Everything all over. Now 1 times 63 will give us 63. All over what? 81. So from here, let me just delete and come here. So if you put it this way, or I use the base here. So 1 times 7 is 7. 4 times 9 is 36. All over 63 over 81. This is what we have. And this can be written as this can be written as 7 over 36 divided by 63 over 81. 7 over 36 divided by 3 over 81. And this will give us 7 over 36. If I change it to multiplication, this 81 will come up. So we have 81 over what? 63. On the long run, um, 36, if you can do it this way, 7 can go in 63. That is uh, that is 9. So 7 in year 1 in 63 is 9. 9 in year 1 in 81 is 9. 9 in year 1 in 36 is what? Is 4. So my answer is what? 1 all over 4. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.